Well, I'm deeply grateful to everybody who has been working round the clock since Thursday night, firstly to get alternative travel arrangements in place to minimise the disruption of the closure of the bridge. Over the weekend, we've increased rail capacity by 40%, increased bus capacity significantly, put a diversionary route in place for buses and HGVs, uh, got lots of public messaging out there encouraging people to use buses, which is our key message today. Think about using the bus because the additional travel times are not as long as might have been expected. Think about car sharing. But if people don't have to take their cars or, and they can use public transport, then there's availability at the, the park and rides at Ferry Toll and Hull Beath, where um, an extra bus has been put on. The, the buses are getting the ability to use this extra, um, this special route, the bus priority route that's been designed in the A985. So it allows them to buses to get to the front of the queue and get through the congestion quicker than sitting in the car. So a huge amount of work has gone into that and I'm hugely grateful to the people who've done that work but also to the people who are working often in very difficult conditions uh, to understand, assess uh, the problem that's been identified in the bridge to work out how it's going to be repaired and to get the planning underway for that repair. Um, they really deserve our gratitude because it's not always easy working on a structure like this and they remain absolutely focused on getting the bridge repaired and open as quickly as possible. If you go into the Traffic Scotland website, we've got a mini site within that, which is the, the, the Force Road Bridge closure. Um, within that, you can get all the information available. We've had lots of hits, so follow us on Twitter, go to the Traffic Scotland website and plan ahead.